check the breaker. Not so fast, Deathstroke. He's my kill. Find a body? No. And next time, keep your other assassins out of my way. You had your shot, Deathstroke. But you're not the only assassin in town. And the night is young.
Don't hurt me. I won't. I'm here to help. Okay, please. Please, they've got my friends. Holding them hostage in the overview bar. Where is that? The suspended bar between the towers. Ahead in the employees killed column. They have my co-workers. They're... they're forcing them. Don't worry. I'll get to them before anything happens. Okay. Hurry! Detonate December 31st. I should be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer. Oh no! You found my snowman bombs! <laughs> oh, you just cut! 
couldn't wait till New Year's, huh? Who gets the fire? Getting this? Yeah, we're still alive. This is Vicki Vale reporting live from the Gotham Royal Hotel, where there has just been a massive explosion. And now it appears the Batman has been blown from the building by the blast and is somehow hanging from the bottom of our helicopter. What's this? Uh, several armed men have gathered on a balcony. Those men have gone. After years of on and off unconfirmed sightings with no recorded video, we've seen the bat twice tonight and caught him on film. Could this be the turning of a new leaf for the mysterious vigilante? Is he about to become a public figure? One thing's for sure, after what I've seen him do tonight, he's on his way to becoming a household name. You saw it here tonight, the Batman on live television. This is Vicki Vale signing off. psychopaths before, but this... Sir, I strongly suggest you call in Captain Gordon. He could be a valuable ally for you. I don't need any allies. to drop in <coughs> and just in time oh, he's my parasol <laughs> remember you gave your word you have one minute do they even have manners where he comes from <laughs> you see it's a tradition in my house to open one present on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about this one? <laughs> How many lives did you just take? None. I think that was just a little stocking stuffer, a construction site blocking my view. <laughs> <laughs> but this one isn't. <laughs> I've long waited for this moment. With your death, I will find peace.
I won't stand by and watch you kill yourself. I'm calling Captain Gordon. No, not now. That's getting too hot.
They deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. Where'd he go? Huh? The back. The partner. <laughs> My partner? Who else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer! <laughs> I was wondering the same thing, my son. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You of all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy biting little thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes, screaming for your synapses. Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. And then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona to rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish you are, <laughs> your laughter reverberates on the walls of your own. Okay, I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. <laughs> okay, one more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. 
Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so low that you can kick, call, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Drift! Floating! Like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling. And I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask? Who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? Oh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Holly, you got one now. a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. This man, this is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. It's the story back at the precinct. Why see that? Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench.
The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predatory. Be. No, not what? may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. But it will be theirs! Men, the same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. My tracking device is in here somewhere, which means Bane is likely in here as well. Impressive work, but it looks like Bane hasn't found a way to counter the damaging side effects this compound has on the brain's memory centers. Project TN1. Looks like Bane's experimenting with a new form of venom. Whatever it is, it must be what caused the physiological changes I saw in the corpse back at the GCPD. who I am. You're not safe at Wayne Manor. Got it. I'll call the police. No, I can't risk them discovering my identity as well. Just secure yourself in the Batcave. What are you going to do? I'm on my way to you. I'll figure something out. Repeat. Suspect is airborne in a jetpack, armed with a flamethrower. Multiple hostages on the Pioneer Bridge. Firefly. He must not know Joker's behind bars. He's putting those people in danger to get to me. Delta 6-5 to dispatch. Who's the OIC at Pioneers? Captain James Gordon is the officer in charge. A 
lot of lives could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, I can learn more. And if the cops try anything stupid, kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And, uh... How long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bat shows. We'll wait all night if we have to. There's 50 million dollars riding on this. Alfred, Firefly has hostages on the Pioneer's Bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Uh, can't you just let the police handle Mr. Linz? Especially in light of what we've just learned. I can't abandon those hostages. They're in jeopardy because of me. Because of the bounty Joker placed on my head. They'll be safe in the Batcave. if he knew about Firefly's bombs. I've got to stop him before he sends his men into a trap. Dispatch, Marine 4, where's the tactical command post? We're supposed to report to Gordon. Don't send in your men. Firefly has the bridge rigged with explosives. Show yourself! You have a go! No! Call them back. If Firefly blows the bridge, there's no telling how many will die. You're the reason those people are in danger. He's doing this for the bounty on your head! Give yourself up! I'm going to bring in Firefly myself. Don't send anyone else in until I tell you it's safe. You'll stay the hell out of this! You hear me? How many bombs are on this bridge? Four! Four! One here, one directly above us, in the bridge sublevel, and one more at each end of the bridge. Those are the big ones. That's all of them! I promise! Then I promise you a good night's sleep. Oh. Four bombs on the bridge, with the largest bombs at each end. I'll need to disarm this bomb before going after the others. on my head all night. It was never Sionis. The Joker put up the bounty, and now he's behind bars. I heard, but I still got a score to settle with you. I'm giving you the rest of the night off. Disarm Firefly's bomb at the north end of the bridge. Get off this frequency! Now! Listen, I'm on my way to disarm the bomb at the south end. Have this door open by the time I get back. You let me do my job, and stay the hell out of my way! Damn it. You have to let us Alfred, there's a fire door blocking my progress. I need codes to get past it. The police should have access to those codes. Perhaps Captain Gordon... Gordon won't cooperate. I'm heading to get the other bomb. Get those codes to me by the time I'm done. Right. I'll do my best.
Someone moving around down there. Possible Batman spot. Tracking target. Negative. Stay to your assigned patrol. If Firefly spots your target, he can set off his bombs. Roger that.
I need to grab him onto Firefly. It's a risk I've got to take. Don't give him too much credit. Something tells me that if you hadn't given the bomb squad the breach order, this bridge would be at the bottom of the river. Get him out of here. Eh. You didn't listen. I'm not big on taking orders from wanted men. I'm not big on taking orders from cops. I should have gotten to that last bomb. Yeah. And I should have given you access to that security door. But between the two of us, we covered it pretty well. Come on, damn it! All units, all units, O10. This is O10 confirmed at Black Gate Prison. Suspect identified as the Joker. We're going to be all right. I know I haven't always been supportive of what you do, but I understand now. Go. They need you out there. I can't defend Gotham. I 
can't even defend my own home. Master Bruce. Master Bruce, now is not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own. But it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. And a man's strength comes not from just brawn and intelligence, but also from his allies. One alert. The Joker has escaped from his cell and is leading the riots at Blackgate. Repeat, the Joker has taken over the entire prison. Multiple casualties, multiple hostages. Again, we have lost Blackgate. Captain Gordon is calling on anyone, anyone for assistance. They need you. No. They need us. Thanks. Thanks for... I could use your help. Captain Gordon's on his way. Secure the gates for him, then help him lock this place down. The Joker cannot be allowed out of here. Yes, sir. We're on it. Prison Officer 47 to Captain James Gordon. What is your ETA at Blackgate? I've been listening to the reports coming out of Blackgate. Everything okay? I should be asking you that. How are you feeling? Well, it's not every day that one's heart must be crudely resuscitated by defibrillation, but I must say I feel remarkably well. Are you okay? What's it to you? You were almost killed. Huh? Occupational hazard. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon, and he's waiting for you. Apparently, the Joker's afraid of me. Wouldn't let me out. And for good reason. I don't like having my time wasted. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. 
Not unless someone else puts up 50 million bucks. I wasn't worried. of which one of us it is, is in your hands. A compassionate man would be home, mourning the loss of his servant and lifelong companion right now. Yet here you are. Fight me! Just in case I live here with Ruff to get him stuck. Right from the top of the center end. Kaboom! More men's feet. The house made it hamburger. The man in his street. Out. Accept your end. Prepare yourself. Ooh, look at him go. A clock now, Batman. Don't move! Maybe you shouldn't move. Careful, Jim. When that chair goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. <laughs> Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. Have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. I got a pulse. I'm going to start your heart. Kill you again. May you find the peace in death that you did not find in life. I'm not looking for peace. If I can use my shock gloves to temporarily stop the heart, my only hope. Attention, Batman!
The game is over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah. Put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? Gordon! Well, that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and celebrate your victory, but I've got stockings to stuff, mistletoe to hang, and about 15 skyscrapers to blow up before sunrise. Ciao! <laughs> Thank God you had your vest on. He's got my gun! Gordon, Joseph, I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean, you didn't? That's not how I do things. Now go.
It's over, Alfred. I've defeated Bane. for the help with Bane. I trust he's down for good this time. He's secure, and it appears the TN1 Bane took damaged his memory permanently. Ah, does that mean he won't be revealing your identity? Looks that way. Glad to hear it, sir. And the Joker? He's still on the loose, but not for long. <laughs> Where's Gordon? Sniper! Locals back for more. One night. Not yet, you haven't. Son of a bitch! Screw this! Want the Joker? Take him. Help me keep these guys off the warden. This guy's crazy! went through that door, towards the chapel. Thanks. <laughs> oh, 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 that's... <laughs> it's just... It's so... <laughs> What's a night? <laughs> Fresh off the kill, and back for more, eh? Bane's still alive. <laughs> now that's not funny. This rage, all directed at me, and for what? You know, if you'd actually let me finish a sentence, you might learn something! You might learn that we're not so different. You might learn something about yourself! You need to learn to shut up. You know, it's sad, really. Makes me feel like you don't care to see the good side in me. Well, I guess learning is a lot to ask from you, meat for brains. Is all this for you, or for me? You must know I'm a lost cause. Oh, but there's still... You just can't get it through your thick scalp! Oh! We both exist because of them! Give up! You've lost! What you need? <laughs> 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 
Come on, baby. Beat me till your knuckles bleed. Why quit there? <laughs> you know there's only one way to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. Then how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least that's what I used to think. <laughs> Stop his heart. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats! <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun! Maybe, maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. Don't sign. You rot in here, or you work for me. June 4th, 1920. Mother's dead. Dementia took her. With my inheritance, I can begin working to cure the world's ailments. The name Amadeus Arkham will become legendary. September 1920. A radical step must be taken to combat Gotham City's diseased. February 1921. Construction has begun on the Elizabeth Arkham Asylum for the criminally insane. Finally, I will be able to treat my patients properly. April 1st, 1921. Returned home today to find my family murdered by my patient Martin Hawkins. I feel oddly detached. September 17th, 1921. Today I begin treatment of Martin Hawkins. I will rehabilitate this man. April 2nd, 1922. During treatment with Hawkins, I resorted to extreme measures. It proved more than he could sustain. June 4th, 1923. Gotham City is lost. The lunatics are irrepressible, incurable. The only sensible treatment, eradication. October 18, 1923. Am I a doctor or a murderer? I can no longer differentiate. I will give my last breath to deal with the filth that infects Gotham City.
spoil everything, didn't you? It's over, Joker. Really think you can win? Oh, a little bad. <laughs> 